I'm just uh, a little bit worse to watch it. St. Jackman's Church on the hill, and to the left of it is an old paper mill chimney, not been used for many years. It's now about to be demolished, not in any dramatic way, but brick by brick from the top. But I thought I'd uh, eventually walk over there and get a video of it if I can before it disappears. And uh, hopefully before then, film the Duke of Gloucester coming up through the railway. From this angle you can see the sea just beyond Watch It there. I haven't actually been filming here for some months and uh, things are quite a bit different there. There's uh, lots more fencing in the area, more or less stopping you wandering into the field. The steam we can see there of course is from the the paper mill, not from a train. This is a long-range shot of St Decaman's Church Tower and the old paper mill chimney and you can see the scaffolding now almost reaching the top. And then there's just an interesting piece of track here because uh, when you look at the layout of the land it would appear that the uh, gradient is descending towards us. That's coming down the hill towards us here and in fact the opposite is true. And if you see a train going in this direction, it's taking it very easily. But one coming from that direction, it's working hard. And that's really one of the reasons why I wanted to get the Duke of Gloucester here. So at the bottom of the slope, and my level crossing here, it'll be a matter of uh, listening to see if we hear any whistles. Should hear it whistle from its departure in Watchet Station. Should come by through here. There's a gated crossing here. Disappearing towards Watchford up there. It looks as if some of the supports here for the crossing gates is making use of old railway sleepers and other old bits of wood that used to be here because there by this round post there's something that says watch it on the right and watch it on the left. Well that in fact is <laughs> backwards. Pivot here looks as if it's set in an old railway sleeper, most of which is dug into the ground. Some other spectators definitely hear it chuffing away in the distance now.
There's the crossing, just beyond that gate. And to the right there's a, a CL, country location, camping area. You really want to get away from it all. It should be close to the trains. Just here, Washford River comes through. Putting a nice little duck pond there for the, the farm nearby. Last time I was here, beyond this tractor was a very old Renault van, which must be quite a, a sought after classic to restore now, but it was in a bad state then. I wonder if it's, it's still, still there. there. I think it's quite a challenge to bring that back to life, but someone might be interested. Yeah, it's a Renault 4 B Reg. It's been parked more or less in the drive for a long, long time, I should imagine. You go up so far and it says it's a private drive from here on, but right opposite us here, there is a public right of way. And of course, um, parallel with the West Somerset Railway in this area used to be the mineral line that used to bring iron ore down from the Brendan Hills to the port of Watchet to ship across the Seven Seas for processing in South Wales. No track left. A few buildings can be seen if you know where to look. Anyway, this is where we have to go over this style. We're looking in the direction of Washford and of course ultimately Minehead in the distance. You can just make out the level crossing there in the gap in the trees where we were. And this is the Kentford Farm building, a house. Years ago there used to be a bit of double truck on the West Somerset Railway here. With its own signal box, a passing loop, all lifted and gone. No traces of it to be seen now. And the path we're walking along on the bottom of this field. And in the distance we see St Decimus Church. We started this walk from the road that runs between Watchet and Blue Anchor. And we got over a stile just up there. That's where I took the first shots. Another style to get over. Probably when that chimney was in use, it used to belch black smoke as well as steam, and everything was coal fired. Last time I was here, there were lots and lots of sheep in this field. None here today, though. This will probably be the last time you can stand here in front of this exit gate and see any signs of that old open mill chimney because scuffling has reached that top level. And as soon as it gets there, I guess they'll be taking off each brick one at a time until it's no longer there. Just looking back where we've come. At this stage I start to puff a bit. <laughs> 